This big old egg behind me is no ordinary egg. This egg contains the key. A key to something extraordinary. What lies inside is of no surprise if you're a regular viewer with a set of eyes. I didn't even think that made sense, but doesn't matter, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Primal Fear on the Crystal Eyes. I don't even know what intro that was. Just forget about that, okay? You, uh, just, just forget about it. Just erase that from your memory. Today's a big day, though. Last episode, we went and we we basically, uh, we kind of, we, all right, look, I feel bad about it. We stole a baby from a pair of Indominus Rexes. A pair of Apex Indominus Rexes. They were just chilling out on the big old island, and I kind of just walked on in. <laughs> kind of took them on, dealt them a couple punches. Uh, they, they walked off a cliff and then I stole their egg that they laid um, while they were struggling to stay alive. Uh, and today, we're going to hatch it. Today, we're going to hatch this baby up. We're going to raise ourselves a big old Apex Indominus Rex of our own, which will very well, which very well may be the strongest creature we have tamed up this season. That's right, stronger than our light griffin, stronger than our fabled Frankie the Yankee, stronger than this big old beta forest titan because he's just a big old beta boy he ain't no alpha <laughs> yeah yeah and of course stronger than our little uh gerbil big gerbil big purple <laughs> pink eyed gerbil uh yeah this guy is going to be an absolute machine and i cannot wait to see what comes out the other side of it but if you guys are still enjoying this series if you do enjoy the video then please help me out by going ahead and punching that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups look this episode is a big one. It's a big old episode. It will go down in history as the greatest episode um, of, of uh, the 12th of August or 13th of August, I guess, when this video drops. Okay, remember that. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> let's get this thing hatched up now. We've got most things in order already. Um, we're going to head into Eggsville. That's right. Welcome to Eggsville. We're going to head into Eggsville. We're going to feed this little friend to uh, the dodo nest, which is going to hopefully hatch this guy out pretty quickly. Um, I was going to do it with air conditioners, but then I realized we've got a hatchery set up. Um, in fact, I completely forgot about this hatchery until we wouldn't believe it uh, while I was trying to... Oh, actually, you can't do that. You just got to drop the egg. Uh, not that that's doing anything right this second, but I, I completely forgot... <laughs> Uh, I was trying to do that intro and then my egg just disappears from behind me and I'm like what uh, and then I, I forgot first I came and checked up on our item collector over here but then uh, item collector didn't have it so I was like what happened to my egg what happened to my baby um, and then I realized the little dodo the little hatchery over here he stole my egg except this time around he doesn't seem very interested what are you doing buddy pick up the egg pick it up pick it up he'll pick it up in a second I'm just a little bit cautious about that egg health. It does seem to be dropping quite... There it goes. Okay, good boy. Good boy. You go and, you go and get that thing uh, incubated for me, okay? It's not showing me... Wait, it's not showing me the information. Wait, what? Normally, it, it's got the little item thing. Wait, what? Why? Uh, that's a bit bizarre. Interesting. Hmm. You're supposed to show me information, game. Very, very interesting. Anyways, we are actually going to need one item uh, to make sure that this all goes according to plan because the hatchery is only good up until a certain point. That point being uh, the 1% mark. So we are, in fact, going to need ourselves a single old air conditioner. Or maybe... I don't even know if I need an air conditioner, to be honest. Maybe you could have just done it with a torch. Uh, but either ways, I'm going to go and put even more items on our uh, un unbuilt base here. I don't even know what this is. I feel like all we did was move from our little wooden platform down at the other base uh, to a stone platform up here instead. Uh, not not the biggest fix, not the best work miola, but hey, that's that's what you get around here, okay? That's what you guys watch for, okay? It's what you subscribe for. Mediocre arc gameplay. <laughs> hey, and uh, if you haven't yet done so, and you do want to see more mediocre arc gameplay, hey, look, I die a lot. I get my dinosaurs killed a lot. There's no secrets to it, okay? I'm just bad at this game. And I play it every day. I play 3,000 hours of this thing. And I still suck this bad at it. But if you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're currently on a run to 750k subscribers by my birthday. Also, in the next day or two, potentially 700,000 subscribers, which is insane. Uh, I never thought I'd reach this number. So it's 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 a big deal to me. Anyways, it looks like our, our egg here, which you wouldn't even know what it is because it's, it's not telling me for whatever reason, is just about done. Time to go ahead and take it. 
and we are going to throw it in front of this air conditioner and get this big old boy hatched up. I really hope I can get this thing. Um, what do you call it? Oh gosh, I can't even remember what do you call it. What do you call it when you do the thing? Oh wait, now now it's working. The tooltips are working. I guess it's got to do with the hatchery that makes them not work. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's just drop this thing and see what happens. Hey, here we go. Three, two, one, and ta-da! Imprint. That's the word I was looking for. But it doesn't matter. We have ourselves a baby apex Indominus Rex. Let's get imprinted on this little girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Fantastic. Ooh, 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 ooh. that's cool. Alrighty, come over here, buddy. Come over here. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys are massive. So to get him to follow me, I had to go to walk quite far away. All right, that will just about do it. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Are you going to wander? Are you going to wander? What are you going to do? Uh, no. Okay, good. It's not set to wander. The only thing is... Oh, no, this isn't good. Oh, no. No. You're going to mature too fast. And it wants care in an hour and 21 minutes, which means I'm not going to be able to imprint it unless I have one idea and one idea only can i get a nanny what do i need for a nanny human hair i've never got human hair uh maybe i do today hold on scissors i need scissors scissors uh hang, hang in there buddy don't don't you go too fast okay his life is gonna flash before my eyes if we're not careful here just like my own daughter who's currently asleep in the room next to me she's growing up so darn quickly it's scary she's four months old at the moment crazy scenes oh yeah that's right we're cutting our own hair aren't we okay so oh this is gonna pain me to do it but cut it all off and then my head hair as well my face hair whatever hair ah uh yeah oh no it's hideous oh <laughs> it's disgusting <laughs> don't look oh yuck 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 yucky um hey let's let's try and collect some hair i need human hair though um hey item collector you're the only other human in the area you, you want to donate some hair to me will you Actually, let me try this. Can I can give me some hair, please? Can I give you a haircut by any chance? Can I Can I have something? Oh, no, that's mine. Oh, I, I got excited there for a second. Darn it. That's all right. We're not going to give up just yet. Uh, what else can we try? What else can we try? What else can we try? I don't have any other solutions to this <laughs> other than to like maybe uh, maybe we can get a, a farmer. There's a, there's a thing called a farmer, isn't there? Hey, farmer, would you like to join the squad? All right, I just want to make sure I'm not going to spend any of the little bit of human hair that I have left on... A farmer? Um, I don't even know what farmers do. Distributes fertilizer, collect fertilizer, bunch of fertilizer stuff, really. I got no use for you, but hey, look, I need some company, so I guess you can join in. Would you like to donate me some of your hair? I guess not. You didn't even have a beard. You didn't deserve to be in the square. You, you got no hair either. Ah, well then, good news. At least my hair's starting to grow back. Including my beard as well. I wonder I wonder if it'll grow back in time to get oh no 33% of the way! No! Oh no, 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 oh no. Hang in there, buddy. I got you covered. Also, hey, is it just me? Or does the Indominus Rex just have a really, really nice skin to it? Like it is so, it just looks so high detailed compared to like your average arc dinosaur. Like these kind of look a little bit blurry. A little bit like un... I don't know, lower resolution. But then you get the Indorex and it just looks so crisp. Whoever made the model for this guy is an absolute machine. Uh, speaking of machines, this hair is growing. It's a growing. Um, do we have time though? Probably not. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. I... Nah, this is not going to happen, is it? It's not working. <sighs> I think stressing about my hair growing so much has actually had the opposite effect of stress in real life. In real life, when you stress about hair, well, when you stress about anything, your hair falls out. In arc, the opposite happens, baby. <laughs> Let's get this stuff cut off. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I uh, I kind of tweaked the game settings before we started to, started today to make my hair grow extra darn quickly. Okay, and as a result, boom. Yeah, that's right. Miola's Miola's playing 200 IQ today, baby. And just like that, we should be able to get ourselves a nanny. Wait, imprints nearby non-adult dinos. I don't think this is actually gonna do it. Uh lucky for us, I have honey. Uh, from our our expedition of the old roll rat. Um, but I, I don't know if it's going to work. Alrighty. So, you're powered up. 
Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, though. I just, I don't think it is. I don't think it's, I don't think she's going to imprint him. I think, I don't think it changes the rules. I think it's more of like, if you're trying to imprint offline. Yeah, at the end of the day, our imprint settings are just too busted. Or at least, ah, oh, I don't know. It's all busted up, okay? Our friend here is not getting imprinted. But hey, we're not going to let that stop us from enjoying this big old beast. Hey, look, we might have only met like five minutes ago. But it doesn't change the fact that you meet the world to me, big guy, big girl. Doesn't matter. Let's get you a saddle, though. This thing is going to be a machine. I can't wait to test this out. The Apex Indominus Rex. It does kind of hurt a little bit. Actually, why... Two tips aren't working again. Why is that happening? That is bizarre. I don't know if something weird has happened and it's not letting me like, I don't know, see the different tips and stuff. But uh, this guy here is well on its way to grow it up. How, far, how much longer? 70%. 30% more left to go. That's like nothing at all. May as well just not be non-existent. We're going to take this guy for a spin. We're going to take our baby. <laughs> it seems pretty silly to like look at this giant beast and call it a baby. Um, but hey, at the end of the day, I guess that's what she is. She's my little girl. And hey, oh no, I just had a terrible idea. I was like, I'll name, I'll name my baby girl after my real life baby girl. But I don't think I can do that. I don't think I could. Like, at the risk of this beautiful beast here dying in the way that it probably, unfortunately, will end up. Just because we got a terrible track record of keeping our dinosaurs alive. <laughs> I don't think I can name... Ugh. <laughs> what a hideous head of hair. I don't think that I can name a dinosaur after my real life baby girl. I, I don't think we can call a dinosaur just so. Um, but I think instead, maybe, maybe we'll give it another name that is dear to me for those of you who've been subbed and watching for a while you know the name i'm talking about normally we give it to our smaller more pet type creatures um am i actually gonna do this i think i'm actually gonna do this i am going to name this apex indominus rex apex sit no we're not gonna put capitals like that but apex santi Apes yeah, no, there's no cool way you can spin those two words together. The adolescent Apex Santi is seconds away from evolving up to a big old adult Santi. <laughs> also, look at my pond! Oh my gosh. We actually haven't looked in here for quite some time. So originally when we first like came to this place, there were no fish. Um, I then went and placed some Gaia fish farms around the place, which give us silica pearls. Uh, and I guess I guess it populated the uh populated the pond. The pond could definitely do with some unpopulating now. It's a little bit... Some culling. It's a little bit overgrown. In fact, my little sharky... My little... Not shark. My little uh, sarco chibi down here surely could go for a bit of a feed. Anyways, let me go and drop these little silica, silica pearls off. And uh, we'll be able to take this big old boost for a run around the world. Come on, mate. Ain't got all day. Here we go. The final percent. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. And we've got him, baby. All right, all right, all right. Let's get you saddled up. And let's see what you're made of. This thing is enormous. Also, I want to be careful because I don't want to knock down the trees in the base. Uh, I do like my trees and bushes. I want to, I want to keep it all as, as, as much as possible. So I guess, where am I going to take you for a spin? Do I even have any experience potions? I don't think I do. Yeah, well, I don't, because it, I, I, unless, actually, hold on, hold on. We did go on a little bit of a killing spree last episode. Let me just check our two most used dinosaurs. My light griffin, just kibble, and a bunch of other jazz. Okay, this is disappointing. How about my Celestial RG chilling over here in Eggsville? I don't even know why you're in Eggsville. Yes, you do late. Hey, here we go. <laughs> That's all I got. This little baby, this little baby experience potion right here. But I do remember collect, I, I had another one recently. I'm just trying to think where I left it. I had a, I had a, um, I had one that belonged to the Gaia mod, which is actually really, really handy because they work a little bit differently. But I don't know where I left it. Where would I put it? It wouldn't be in here. I know it's not in here. Uh, it could be in here. No, it couldn't be because I grinded all of that up the other day. Okay, this base is so annoying. All right, maybe, maybe next week we'll go and rebuild this thing. How about my grinder? We got anything in our grinder over here? This does, I mean, there's a lot in here. Don't get me wrong. But anything that I'm actually looking for. No XP potions. All right, fine. We just got the little small baby one. Well, we'll have to go and find some new ones then, I guess. Let's hit the, the ocean. Why am I hitting the water? Bad place to start. Also, potential fall damage. Uh, but let's get you out of this water. And let's see what you're made of. You've already got some levels up your sleeve. Get one of these into you as... Oh. 
There we go. <laughs> let's do that, I suppose. And let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Oh, this guy's going to be a machine. Um, If you be dealing 109,000 damage without a single level in you just yet. Oh, my gosh. This guy's going to be a beast. Get wrecked. Little Alpha Dodo, get wrecked. Divine Pteranodon, get wrecked. Big old Alpha Brodo. Or is that a... Yeah, that, that was an Alpha. Yeah, actually, these Brachios are going to be really, really good. Even these Triceratops is also going to have to still be careful of this little guy. Yeah, I know. We are destroying everything with one hit. But these little Raptors... Oh, he's only got 30,000 health. These Raptors can be deadly. We learned that the hard way. He's killed a couple of our old friends. Uh, yeah, they give off like a bleeding effect that just drains your dinosaurs. No matter how strong they are, no matter how much health they got, it obliterates them. Anyways, the Brachiosaurus family over here have been completely wiped out. <laughs> how many levels we got? 33. Do we have any experience potions? I don't think so. Damn, that's disappointing. We got a bunch of loot though. Um... Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, you're hungry. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, How are we going to fix this? Mm, I'm going to have to give you... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to get like a like a, like a a hunger potion or something. I have no idea. Also, how did you get it imprinted 100%? Wait, what? No wonder you're so strong. Uh, Oh, no. Oh, you know what? Bring it on, little primal track. Get wrecked. Get absolutely obliterated. Um... I think maybe there is a chance that the nanny did imprint in the end. That would that would explain why this guy is dealing 100,000 health without any levels into him just yet. Um, I think it's safe to say this guy is going to be our strongest dinosaur. He's going he's to outdo our two griffins. He might even outdo our celestial Argy. But there's only one way to find out. And that's by getting this guy leveled up a little bit. So I'm going to start out with a... Wait, why... Oh, is there any point even starting with, health, uh, with, with speed? I guess so. Then I want to get a little bit of health just to make sure because, you know, we have a tendency to get our friends killed. Uh, that is just under 5 million. Okay, that, that'll do. Consume that. Get you healed up. Fantastic. Uh, we still got to get that hunger sorted though. But don't worry. We'll get to that soon. What I'm really hanging for though is I need some experience potions. So I'm trying to find uh, dinosaurs that might give them to us. Usually these Brachios are quite good at that. Uh, except for today, apparently. They don't, they don't want to give us what we're looking for today. Um, also, Gaia dinosaurs can be quite handy as well. Also, I don't know why we're lagging while taking these guys down. That's a little bizarre. That doesn't normally happen. But another 19 levels. Fantastic. Uh, so, I'm thinking these are all going to go into melee damage. As simple as that. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? And with 19 levels in melee damage, let's find out what sort of damage... Our new friend here is dealing. Also, maybe this is just a laggy part of the map. Uh, little turtle dude, I'm sorry about this, but you're my test dummy. Show me what you're made of. 184,000. <laughs> All right. Okay. We just need more potions. Don't know what kind of dolphin that... Wait, that was... Wait a second. All right. Hold on. Let me try... Wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Rider imprinted 100% damage. Oh, Wow. It actually tells me how much stronger this guy is because of the imprint. Has an extra 30% damage and 30% resistance. This guy's going to be a machine. Uh, but I completely forgot. Our friend here is going to have some different attacks as well. Uh, right click. It's going to be a roar. But I wonder if that roar makes us any stronger. Nah, it doesn't give us a buff. Uh, C attack. That's another roar. Oh, this might be the one that summons little minions. Or is it just... Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. We got a little Apex Raptor minions. Just one. Oh, no. We got a few. There's a few coming in. We got three of the little guys. These guys actually look quite strong as well, to be honest. Um, Not bad. Not bad. Not... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. We got three. And then we got these two over here as well. Sweet. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, oh, is there even more? No, there's five. There's five. Oh, we really got to test these guys out. Yeah. Let's just keep... Let's just keep killing stuff. Uh, there's no X attack. There's no control attack. I think that's it. So we basically got a bite, a roar, and then um, the roar that summons in more dinosaurs. Cool. Just trying to think what type of, like, who would be... Oopsie. All right. 
I mean, it always scares me whenever we freeze up like that. We've had crashing issues in the past, but we seem to have dodged them for the most part lately. I feel like we've got to, like, take this guy out to kill some crazier things, like some bosses or something, just to, just to truly test the strength of this guy. So I reckon what I'm going to do, as crazy as this sounds, uh, where are we going to teleport? Oh, my previous teleporter location is where we stole the egg from. Oh, this is going to be cruel, but I'm, I'm taking her out there. I'm taking her out there. We're, we're putting her to the proper test today. We'll say, wait. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I was I was in the sky, so I'm going to dismount. I'm not forcing you to take that fall damage, whatever I do. All righty. Uh, not quite where I thought I was. No, I don't want to go in the water. No. Oh, so you took fall damage from hitting water, you dummy. What are you doing? I didn't call you a dummy, okay? This dinosaur could rip. What is that? That's the type of guy we need to be fighting right now. That's a Prome Alpha Rex. Level 1,300. 738,000 health. Wow. Okay. Well, I could just give you a bit of a nibble. I could take you down. Yeah. Yes, indeed, I can. <laughs> All right. Um, also, wait, what? Can you swim under the island? Or is it just not loaded in properly yet? Also, I feel like I shouldn't do this. Because, oh no, here we go. Am I above water or not? Wait. I don't think I'm, okay, like, can I, can I get above? Can I get above? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drown. All right, hold on, hold on. This is bad. This is bad. For some reason, my dude here <laughs> uh, swims and keeps my head just below the ground. Uh, all right, it's all good, though. It's all good. We, we found, we found a way into the island, so that's the main thing here. Looks like we got some a a a oh, apex carnos. Uh, to greet us. Oh, primal. Primal. Okay, I don't know if we're ready to take on a primal. Oh, it's only got 10 million health. It's quite a weak primal. Not to mention 36 more levels. Um, you know what? Make it a few more. 37 levels. Wow, that was a really ineffective experience potion. Let's get this guy leveled up. All right, now we're talking. All right, let's see what you're made of. That's, that's better. That's much better. Dealing half a million damage. He's already matching. So she, she is already matching our uh, our light griffin, our fabled grifficorn, rest in peace to her beautiful soul. And uh, even our celestial argy, right on, actually no, our celestial argy is much, much, much stronger than now that I actually remember. But there we go. Another primal conquered. Did he give us, no, no experience out of that. I will say, if you're wondering why I'm not dropping any, oh, we did actually, we got this one here. If you're wondering why I'm not dropping loot, I think I realized the problem uh, as to why we're not getting the little tooltips showing up from earlier. Um, I think I've loaded Ark in Ancel mode, which means uh, it's basically the mode that, that I summon. Wait a second. Are there, there more Indominus Rexes? Hold on. Oh, and they're Apexes as well. What? Hold on. Oh, there's more Apex Indominus Rexes out here. These guys are everywhere. They're only level 340. But, hey, could, could we actually get another egg? No, what are you, why are you trying to fight that? Don't fight that. Don't fight that. All right, hold on. I don't want to attack that. Oh, I killed it. Did I kill it? It laid an egg. All right, hold on, hold on. I don't know what these giant RGs are capable of, so I'm just trying to be a little careful here. Um, But I saw an egg pop up on my screen. I think, I think we just got us another Apex Indominus Rex egg. I'm just a little cautious to this guy above us. Uh, also, I'm really hungry, apparently. All right, just let me eat some food really, really quickly. As I was saying, we've loaded up Ark in uh, a special mode that you normally use to get screenshots. It's what I use to get my thumbnails in, um, except for some reason, it makes some things a little bit harder. Um, also, eh, I don't need that. Uh, when I say harder, um, it kind of breaks the game a little bit. <laughs> so normally, I'm gonna kill this R major on. I'm gonna, uh, normally you can't use uh, things on your hotbar by pressing the numbers. You gotta like manually equip them. It's just a pain in the butt, really. Also, what do we have here? Oh, Prome Scarlet Rex. All right, so let me put these extra levels into melee damage and take some full damage props. All right, and this guy has a terrible turning circle. Just turn your butt. Oh, I just realized it's a Celestial RG over there. Oh, he's gonna be a beast as well. All right, I cannot turn this guy. I can't turn it. Just, 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 just bite everything. I don't care. 
Can I take on the Celestial Argy? Who knows? 1.3 million health. I think so. Hey, look. You may be strong. You may be scary. But you've got no chance against my beautiful Indom Indominus Rex. Not at all. <laughs> uh, and I still don't have any new experience potions. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to hatch up this thing. I'm going to hatch up this egg. And we're going to hope that there's a male inside of it. Because if there is, we can breed them together. We can get an army of Apex and Dominus Rexes now. Now that we have the female, if we are able to get us a male as well, this will be like next level greatness. We about to take over the world. Also, I kind of want to nibble that electric feather light up there, but I can't get anywhere near it. Also, I think this is the like furthest we've ever traveled. Oh man, there's a bunch of... Wait, what is that? Alpha Seeker. Okay, he was just purple looking. He looked a bit funky. Interesting though. Very, very interesting. It looks like there's just more seekers than anything through here. Hold on. There's another primal kind of behind us. Let me bend it around. My turning circle's terrible, so we kind of just gotta like go for like a full U-turn. How much health does this guy got? 18 million. Still on the weaker side, thankfully. And I think if we play our cards right, can't even get close to us because my bite has enough knockback to just push it back that perfect little amount where I can just nobble his face off and uh, nobble, nibble his face off. And there's nothing he can do about it. Yeah, this is great. All right, we're going to have some nice experience out of this. Also, I think that's an apex seeker chilling behind him. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. Nice. <laughs> Any experience potions? Unfortunately not. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Also, get wrecked. Apex Seeker. It was an Apex Seeker. We got anything crazy down here? Any primals? Nope. Just Carnos. Not the strong type either. This is definitely the best place to come for leveling. Also, this place is spooky as. Just because I'm running around on a very powerful Indominus Rex doesn't mean that I'm not afraid. Is that? Oh, it's a dark feather light. These guys are actually quite strong. Um, hold on. What did I just... I don't know what I just killed, but I killed something. Oh, uh, just an alpha feather light, maybe? Yeah, these dark feather lights, they actually do pretty crazy damage. The reason I was a little bit worried is I actually thought it was a celestial feather light, which I didn't even know were a thing, which they might not be now that I, you know, now that I realize that's not what we were actually looking at. Also, I have no idea why we're lagging. We're getting these weird little lag spikes while out here, but I hope that they uh, politely remove themselves from my game soon. It seems that whenever I bite a dinosaur, it happens. So uh, I don't know what's causing that. Yeah. See, I don't know. Kind of weird. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. What have I encountered? Hold on. Something is sen something sending weird. What is it? Something, something just summoned something weird onto us just then. Let me just get these things off my screen. What did I? All right. For one, we've got tarantulas. Those guys are scary because they poison our dinosaurs. Uh, two. You guys saw those little spirit things just chasing me for a second there, right? What were they? What were they? Where did they come from? All right, now I feel like I'm like losing my mind. Also, hey, these guys spawn out here. Um, but I don't know what's summoning those weird little... That was weird. Something summoned in minions. Like little pteranodon looking ghost minions. But I can't for the life of me remember what, what would even do that. Oh, snap. Oh, look at these little guys. <laughs> They're so fast. All right, I'm going to destroy this raptor before... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot how quick these guys are. Oh, gosh. I can't even move. Oh, the nibble on my toes quicker than I can... Oh, my God. Look at the size. All right, I'm out of here. These guys are too quick for me. They're too fast. All right. I think it's. I think it might be time for us to get our butts out of here. Uh, I heard a reaper. I heard a reaper. Where's the reaper? I definitely just heard a reaper. 
All right, before we get gobbled up by a reaper, maybe we get our butts out of here. Yeah, I think it's definitely time. We are going to teleport back to our new base. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to call it a day. I think I think that's it. 21 more levels as well. Oh, this guy is going to be an absolute machine. I'm so excited to see how powerful we can get it. Guys, thanks for joining us on the journey of Santi or Apex. Apex Santi, that's right. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups, but most importantly, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.